September the 7th already it is this is the morning hours 2021 I welcome you all um, in a much more relaxed myself um, I feel so much better relieved from the problems I uh, became stressed it was a lot of trauma that globalists if you like wanted me to awake for all the problems they created abuse and they knew so very much about absolutely everything they exchanged the knowledge about abuse with one another and requested help in form of abuse against me from one another um, this was really not a clean play today what I want to do right now I'm already trashing uh, some possibilities certain people have had are going to be ooh, covered uh, completely by resolving the issue of no less than two broken laptops uh, issue of a tablet which was sold to me through AliExpress from China by the AliExpress by the Chinese AliExpress company imagine for you to either carry with you a laptop a tablet or return back inside of your home not any uh, just inside of your room but inside of your home um, just to have things broken operating systems if you would leave them inside of the room screwed up so that you would be completely surveillanced through the internet uh, and jammed with a million viruses problems issues uh, to what Buckingham Palace also referred to as um, uh, encyclopedia bullshit book um, anywhere from car problems computer problems uh, unlimited job search uh, the stuff that went on for 27 years um, accused of being insane actually placed behind the walls of mental institution so uh, they could uh, do a really really nasty stuff and foremost um, escape from what normal people would consider as liabilities something that from normal people from side of the normal people would be just a happy thank you it became for them because of uh, promises they gave uh, the thing impossible so in this thing uh, the impossible as I introduced on my uh, new site they have resorted themselves not only to breaking me all the computers selling me a tablet which was a totally not 10 inch but it was 8 inch uh, but actually a tablet with not 640 but six, 64 gigabytes instead a tablet which was modified just as I was told the case is gonna be with Sergey's a laptop who actually took one into a service for repair because a tablet would regardless whether you would leave one turn on 
or turned off uh, it would just kill the battery it would continuously kill the battery so now for the cost of the new tablet sold to me it was a tablet which they have changed modified into something Sergey had and for what I was also promised told in front of the Sergey don't worry Sergey we're gonna give you his tablet and we're gonna give him your fucked up tablet so don't worry don't worry think about right now as you suffer that uh, you are he and he is you um no this shit is real 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 beautiful beautiful thing uh when you come to remind yourself you were even told that the faxes when you purchase this tablet are gonna be changed increased into a flat fee that that actually made no sense whatsoever uh, you would actually pay like 50% import uh, a VAT it's a tax added to the value of the of the merchandise such as tablet computer and up to 150 euros it's flat it became flat but other than 22% it became flat 35 euros but in this case, all this stuff added to what appeared to me as an old, used, and even modified to kill the battery tablet, uh, worthless tablet, to the value of 110 euros, a tablet for which Americans insisted me will be sold to me like this, fucked up, so that I can record, a video record, uh, radiation basically told it's gonna be fucked up like this because I will not want to use my own telephones to record the radiation inside of the room but with a new tablet that will come you will be able to record yourself with a radiation uh, this is here this is this individual I really refer to him as someone that God does not improve and I did address one in the video that you're welcome to see it's his name is Joe Biden by the way this is I will not give a comment what exactly I think about uh, but obviously the stuff I have spoken about is sickening stuff it's mentally ill stuff uh, it's Joe Biden it's Donald Trump it's this big politicians I have honor to meet over 27 years of time and today I'm just about to expose that everything in fact really really was a setup through the audio recording uh, including breaking the computers not only blacklisting me in employment market um, they had more than 1,000 cars, car owners, more easily, more than 1,000 car owners involved in creating me a problems upon my return from Poland, trying to set me up with the wrong car, with a messed up car, uh, or make things impossible so that deprive you of sleep. You would lose two days every time you would go to look for the car unemployed and end up paying money for food for transport and stuff like this all over Slovenia that's a crazy 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 shit uh, but when it comes to Joe Biden this is just good old Joe uh, the gentleman you're about to hear uh, this is a Slovenian actually when I'm looking myself right now in a camera this guy looks very much like myself <laughs> that's funny he is from Bela Kraina and my mom also is from Bela Kraina region from southern part of Slovenia and actually really really as I look myself you see the way I look uh, this guy looks uh, looks just like myself uh, we have very very close look to one another I think 
Um, and he was involved in Ankyotra for more than 20 years, from what I have heard myself, definitely. And why don't I play you an audio recording from the friend involved in MK Ultra, uh, who came to deliver me, let me demonstrate to you, a laptop uh, and more, you know, literally a docking station uh, and so on uh, for just really symbolic price. I'm not going to even say. I am almost ashamed. Uh, with a really nice car. Uh, he came here with a with a with a car like this with a BMW caravan uh, just like this a big ass BMW beautiful car <laughs> um, a really beautiful gift uh, for which I do want to thank him very much uh, really for his attention and it's a gift that gave me the opportunity to prove a setup with the computers uh, problems they engineered through uh, tablets, computers, hard drives, therefore modified operating systems um, throughout the years. So this is this is this is what they did. And so I really really don't know how to thank him, but. Here is the audio recording. First, I want to show you the computer, what computer looks like. It'll be your guest. All right, so this is basically a computer. This is uh, HP, and it's rather like in condition. It's new. Uh, was more like a gift sold to me like for symbolic price. Uh, next to some other things given just along. It's never had a laptop like this before yet and really sold to me for symbolic price from someone who really really uh, always um, Okay, uh, I met the gentleman at Which I'm not gonna demonstrate that because there's this his phone number and stuff like that, I will not do it. Uh, the original audio recording you're about to hear, I have reduced from 55 minutes to just a few minutes, so this stuff can go through quickly, but this is the website. Um, uh, after I got this tablet from China that was like that, uh, and was left without and computers and a tablet uh, with the money stolen even no longer only with the computers broken I resorted myself to the local used uh, website with the used things and well thanks God somehow I did stumble across him who promised me he will do this for me to help me out uh, and so uh, there you have it here uh, what I reduced um, from phone call and all the way to I might go later on maybe tomorrow whatsoever to play the whole thing translate the whole thing I will not the whole thing because I mentioned some political stuff and I don't want any of that stuff I don't do that uh, but I might stress some more important uh, details and so on, okay? But here is a translation of the audio. So therefore, uh, audio translation I prepared for you so that you can understand the stuff I am talking about. This is a gentleman who was involved in NK Ultra for 20 years. It's fact. This is the stuff that's actually being done to me. H Hello? This is a phone call. Uh, I say hello, hi. Uh, he says, uh, I'm listening. Uh, I call from Nova Mesta about a computer you have uh, on the internet, obviously, on a, on, a, on, a, on a website I just demonstrated you. Uh, yeah. In respect to your computer. 
No, u bistvu me zanima ta računalnik, a i kje narobe za računalnikom, recimo, ne vem. Kje... Okay, uh, I asked about a computer, if there was something wrong with the computer, and he said there's nothing wrong with the computer. I still don't know who this guy is. Um, his name is Thomas. I, however, don't know who this guy is. Uh, I yet have to meet him. Uh, so, but the computer, that, that looks like really smooth, and me being broke without money, well, what else are you gonna do? Uh, go for the next thing is basically a small laptop and of course used laptop but this guy was for real when he promised me that he would help me out it is unbelievable he tells me nothing wrong it's just that my wife changed job and we have several computers um, uh, this computer it's like no um, you know pretty much don't worry Ja, jaz vedem, vedem tale enega cene, jaz te 20 piše, zelo dobro ohranjen prenosnik, Elitebook G2 820 letnik 2016, uh, čist funkcionalni so, mislim, vse je, kako mora biti. Uh, the price is so very low and on top of that he gave me some other stuff that, that's worth it more than computer. Um, that I wonder whether these are actually functional or not, and I ask, I, I assure everything is functional, and he says, yes, yes, everything. Uh -huh. He says even the battery will hold you two, three hours, something like that. I think it actually holds more than that. The computer is really, really awesome. Okay, but the real lawyer is the lawyer. Uh -huh. He says to me, because he knows, he knows, immediately he knows, I will bring the computer to you with a car. Oh, check this out. I'm going to come to you, and I will deliver this computer to you, and you check him out and see if everything is okay with the computer. How about that? Yeah, right. Yeah, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? What do you I am concerned at this point. Uh, this is very too generous, really, here for that kind of money. Um, and I, I, I like to do things in a polite way as possible for the people. I always look forward to help people whichever way I can. So I figure out that it is so good that he wants to sell to me this computer for that low. Uh, I want to meet him somewhere and uh, ease his uh, problems with the transport. He says, yeah, I work uh, all over the place. I'm in Novo Mesto and uh, down towards Zagreb in Brezica and so on. There's no problem. I drive through here. Aha, I understand. But I ask you, what is it for 100 euros? Tu deset. No, ok, ajde, če ga prepelete, pa če vse delujete, kako mora delovat, pa se dejmo za 110 zmenj. Ajde. Uh, I actually even ask him to uh, lower the price. That, that's crazy. That's kind of crazy. Right now I would give him more money. Because uh, this could deserve, this is... Uh, um, I, I, I didn't even know what what exactly is this like real at this point or not. I just needed a computer because both computers destroyed me. They destroyed me both computers, you know. So, and I didn't know who exactly I am talking to or whatever. Uh, and so the guy goes, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he says, yeah, okay. And he gave me for even less money than that. 
He says, I'll bring it to you even today, he says. I am now on the other side of Slovenia, but I'll be very soon in Ljubljana and I'll bring it straight to you to Novo Mesto, he says. Wow. Now I already started to feel really bad. Uh, I said, well, you don't have to because of me this. He says, no, no, he said, don't worry. I go right through here and I'll bring it to you right now. <laughs> now that's, that's like super, super polite. Yeah, this is a are you going to be at home? I said, yeah, okay, in afternoon I'll bring this to you. Let's go. I take it, I tell him. Okay. He says, okay, good. Dobro. Agreed. Shen, sabe so prašo, pa tu je, da vidim tole, ja, no, okay, tu je Windows, da, 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 da. Ja ne, dejte lepo prosim, no. Ajde, zmena ne upali. Okay, dobro, hvala lepo vam, do svidenja. Okay, um, this stuff uh, took place on, <laughs> eh, on uh, August eh, the 20, 2021, so uh, I am laughing because this is like more humorous stuff. <laughs> uh, what he delivered to me really is good. Uh, it really is like new uh, and right now I am thinking about because I didn't recognize him and I'm thinking about <laughs> uh, he was probably laughing all the way here right now uh, when I think about when I go over when I compare to what he said on that theater he's gonna do for me and this conversation this is like you get the phone call you, you have the money and you get the phone call from totally like messed up world but you know the guy you want to help him out and he makes you laugh actually all right so this was a phone call now he comes just as promised zoom he comes right downstairs and i run uh so to prepare the coffee for him uh so because he was so nice and i do something really stupid it was not really was not intentional and I use instead of euros a Polish zloty uh, to pay him back for the, uh, for the transport. So he comes downstairs, he sits, and uh, he was. We had some good laugh. I didn't laugh because it wasn't really. It really was a big mistake. Uh, first this kind of stuff, and then I uh, try to just give him a Polish zloty. I think about five Polish zloty for one euro. <laughs> so that was already sold for symbolic price. <laughs> and now I came downstairs with a Polish zloty and I hand him uh, this Polish zloty. He says, yeah, he says, wow. He says, they look like euros, <laughs> but these are not euros. <laughs> yeah, I said, no, man. I said, it's a Polish zloty, I'm sorry. It's a mistake. The thing is that I had this money from Poland uh, all together with euros. And these banknotes are green, both are green. It's the imitation of the euros they have in Poland, I swear. And by mistake, as he comes, I grab this money, I run downstairs, and I, tr I try to hand him the wrong banknotes. Okay, let's continue. So, Okay, this is the wrong audio. Okay. Let's 
pull something here. Am I gonna do this? Boom. Now I move this and continue. So upstairs, I'm preparing the coffee. Uh, the gentleman already is downstairs now. Quickly, I'm fixing this coffee. I want this coffee. It was a really good coffee I prepared, by the way. And so I run downstairs for this coffee now. Actually, no, 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 no. I, I, I did go downstairs. No, this is this is basically I, I go downstairs and and I apologize to him. I, I take him the the euros, the real euros. Uh, and he is laughing over there <laughs> man uh, he brought me this beautiful computer everything <laughs> uh, and he is just he is just I think he was laughing all the way here and uh, after this one he was laughing even more uh, it's just a wonderful guy and looks just like myself except that he is by even taller I'm six and this guy is like like this taller than myself it's a big guy uh, but like I said from Bela Kaina, my mom is also from Bela Kaina and it's nothing but good stuff uh, good memories I have on this guy and of course when he came I started to recall him who he was I didn't uh, I didn't hesitate about the computer anymore for one thing I tell him I was in a Poland uh, he asked me where were you Katowice or whatever the thing is that uh, a Thomas has uh, a wife that is Slovakian that also was involved in MK Ultra uh, and this wife let me demonstrate to you this wife uh, to describe her like perfectly um it looks like uh yeah like something like this girl here that you see between this girl and uh, this girl this one except that this one has a uh, brown eyes and that one has a uh, blue eyes uh she is something between this and uh, basically what i demonstrated and the thing is now that's a funny part about it uh, I liked I liked her <laughs> I was the one I liked her uh, and boy anything I liked and I am I can't be happier than I am for the Thomas trust me but fact of the matter is anything I liked including the house I wanted to buy in Miami in Miami Beach actually that was further up north uh, Donald Trump purchased the fucking house excuse me that I use the F word uh, anything that I like that I put my eye on in like in private life it was like kill any kind of stock New York Stock Market Exchange or that was a New York Stock Market Exchange or was it the one here in Slovenia I bought one stock in Slovenia that was from the bank anything I purchased it dived down the value it was zero if it was in bankruptcy when I purchased it was in chapter 11 it went back one more time into bankruptcy you understand this is the luck I had in my life um, so many warning signs about me that something really big is happening that is just for any police officer any investigator for anyone that would look into this case it would be impossible uh, to just go by with a if you pick like a thousand pages book and you would just turn one page you would know it's a real deal if it would be just written whatever it was about my life it was 
the coincidences that were taking place were obviously not a coincidences. You know, when you have a trans-oceanic ship sinking down as soon as they step down from one, as soon as they touch the floor, and you have the stocks, any stock that I purchase diving down into zero, and if it's bankrupt and I purchased one going down again to zero, you know, this is basically, this is a real deal, more than a real deal. That is as big as it gets, and you're not talking about a little tiny factories, you're talking about anywhere from pharmaceutical to the Royal Caribbean stock. I, I purchased the one, the one that collapsed and then banks and so on. Anything, you understand anything. Okay, let's go back to this video. For me to finish. Thomas find out about her Zig 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 whim he ran to Slovakia and he got this Slovakian beauty and sick and uh, escaped with her back to Slovenia and that's it live a happily ever after he divorced his first wife aha this is where I get the first proof if we continue with the audio Oh, he was all over Poland too. This is the other crime, right? The crime city. You're from Belakraina, I said, like my mom. Yeah. I am half from Belakraina too. I am half Belakrain. Bela Krajina, that's a white uh, country, it's called like a white uh, because because of the customs, these are really Slavic customs uh, uh, this is like this white that you see, this folklore like this they dress kind of a funny you know uh, but this is the the national folklore in Bela Kraina and it's very famous about the tree it's called Bert in English in Slovenian Breza this is just like a national folklore in Bela Kraina in the southern part of Slovenia it's all covered with the trees like this okay He is asking me about my education. He says, uh, as I ask him, that you are so familiar to me, I tell him, you know, I want to get some archaeological proofs, get to the business. He says, uh, yeah, possibly, he says, you were at the center at, uh, were you at the center over there at the school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he tells me, he told me he is uh, from Chernomel. Uh, no, he doesn't tell me. Actually, no, he did not tell me that. No, I don't think he told me, but it doesn't matter. But I think he did not tell me. If he didn't tell me, this is already one proof. Uh, I don't think he told me. So I tell the city in Bela Kraina, Chernomel, that he is from Chernomel. That's you're gonna give me already one, uh, one point. You're already gonna give me. Uh, he is uh, seven years younger than myself. No, we were not in the school anywhere together. I remember him from Chernobyl because he had me everywhere. He had me at his ex-wife place, not only 
uh, at his home in Bela Kraina and then also what will become his third residence as I will also point out watch out for this he's asking what did you go to Poland for I tell him but uh, I work on a Paul uh, I worked in Poland but I said but wait 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 you work you live in Ivanchna Gorica now that's something he told me uh, this was inside of the ad that he lives at Ivanchna Gorica uh, let's take a little hike here uh, to the map Ivanchna Gorica and we're gonna go like this and we're gonna take a map like this okay this is Ivanchna Gorica this is not in so close to Novo Mesto yeah if you would want to go to Novo Mesto from here you would take directions and you would go to Novo Mesto and it would look like this uh, it would be 56 minutes uh, with a train so it's close but then again uh, not so close yeah well with a car that's 40 kilometers actually okay uh, Bela Kraina where he is from uh, Chernome that's also not close to Novo Mesto he is from here originally there you go and that's a 35 kilometers uh, and then uh, I point out however that his wife is from here Ah, there you go. Now that's just 10 kilometers away from where I am. That's a novel mesto. Check this out. Uh, I ask him how long if he's been living in Ivanchna Gorica and he tells me for three years. I said, really? But I said, aha, uh -huh, so you are from Bela Kraina and from what I can recall uh, your wife is from uh, the city of uh, the Novo Mesto therefore from my city from here somewhere yeah, and it's on what he answered to me with oh no not at all ha okay he answered to me with no not at all but guess what I am certain that I am not mistaken at all. So let's see how this thing will resolve itself. Uh, I brought her from Slovakia, he tells me. From Slovakia. From Slovakia. Uh, I am sure you know Slovakia. This is a little second Slovenia but in between Slovakia and Slovenia is uh, Hungary and Austria are right in between uh, this really probably was one country before Slovakia and Slovenia because we do have a uh, last names that are very much alike uh, like let's say exactly my name uh, offsets that's uh, very much Slovakian uh, and even unfortunately these days as I'm not very proud Czech yeah. and I say to him no that is not possible I tell him that is not possible Why is I Slovakian? Uh, your wife is Slovakian I say and he says to me yes <laughs> I said you brought one from Slovakia aha uh -huh. and he is laughing because this is the lady I already have explained and right now the Thomas watching this is laughing again because of overture into this video where I explained 
what his wife looks like and who was the one who find him his wife I told you guys that uh, many 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 guys met their wives just like this uh, the women would be around me like uh, around you know like uh, around hot pot because of the, it was men and women young men and women that wanted to establish themselves uh, financially jobs uh, search for better opportunity and so on they would make a lot of connections with one another but in this case I have to say uh, Thomas uh, always liked me uh, he uh, he was sure that if I see something now that's it man and uh, man he was right he's got a really beautiful wife at home uh, he does uh, he didn't think much when he saw her he made up his mind pretty fast just as anyone would okay I said uh, I, I said to him because uh, when he says to me man that his wife is from Slovakia man I I I am figuring out what this guy is still I said I said no no I said I said Thomas no wait 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 I said Thomas Thomas but how I said I tell Thomas but how is this is this like a second wife you have now uh, and he says yes so now you're gonna give me two more points one from Chernobyl from the city in Bela Karina that I pointed out where he's from second one that his first wife in fact is from the city of the novel so therefore you gotta know if the guy from Bela Karina comes uh, you would assume that his first wife at least would be from Bela Kraina, right? Uh, and I pointed out that after he told me that he has a Slovakian lady, that in fact not only he has a wife from Novo Mesto, therefore from the Lenska to Plitsa, but also that he already had the first wife. You see, I insist that he had also the first wife when he tells me that about the Slovakian lady and now he's gonna say now he's gonna admit and he's gonna say yes so this is the three points beyond any doubt that if I would not know the guy you wouldn't be saying stuff like that right so automatically Zik a gentleman is identified and my claims about the computers, about everything I have stated, are now in line with what I stated, proven beyond any doubts. So he tells me, well, so then I was correct. Uh, the first one he says yes i do have this is a second wife uh, so i said so the first one was from the novel mesto i still insist on the novel mesto and the second one then is from slovakia and he says he still doesn't say from novel mesto but he says from the lenska to plica well there is no way i can just go and yeah and 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 memorize so much but you cannot argue with me absolutely under any circumstances the guy is identified here you're gonna hear him he gives me a confirmation on everything yes and he gives a little smile <laughs> i tell him i'm not just like this tomas i'm not just like this and he confirms me as he's laughing he knows that i identified him I remember, I remember the Slovakian girl. <laughs> he is happy, he is happy. He's got a very beautiful wife.
Tak smo rekli da bo Ne, 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 te ženske so zelo dobre. Ne, ampak to vaško. To mi je oprosti. Ne, ne, ne. To mi je tak bo, da bi nekje bolj v centru Slovenije, pa pa kje bo služba bolj drug. Uh, Slovakian ladies are very beautiful. They are good women. Say the Polish women are good too. Uh, All the women are good and friends on how you treat them. Now what I do is you're going to give me more than three credits. He tells me, he told me that he lives now in Ivanchna Gorica. As I stated, that's 40 kilometers away from the city of the Novo Mesto, and so what I do is I exactly describe a newly built, uh, he didn't even tell me that, I'm telling you right now, it's a complex. Uh, they started, they, they finished, I think, sometimes like in 2013 that, uh, something like this, they started the construction. And this is the type of housing, it's called Vrstnhishe, that's like apartment like uh, housing connected to one another uh, like the houses uh, the whole street uh, just as I presented him right here uh, on Naragoska uh, exactly the same case and he gives me a yes because he had me there he had me inside he was here and so on and so forth so do you still have any kind of doubts that I would know all of this information and you no way you would possibly be guessing stuff like this? This stuff is real. There is more people I identified uh, in respect to computers once I started to uh, watch, but it was this man that returned my faith uh smile on the face basically because uh the, the situation was so dire for me at that point uh i ended up being when the money stolen for purchase i paid uh, as new through aliexpress aliexpress acted against me with a prejudice that i didn't know <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck you do anymore. You go like you go to the store and you buy, you pay for new and they give you something completely different and broken and take no responsibility for it. And they repair, if you were gonna go and repair something that you did not even order, something that's not gonna solve your problems, this is something you want, would cost you more than what is worth. That thing, that tablet is still right there, it's, it's broken. If I'm gonna go and pay for the repair of that thing, it's gonna cost me more than what's worth. Okay, so that, that this guy, this actually really saved me, right? So yeah, I described him this apartment, actually housing type of the housing complex. It's called Bersna Uh And of course, he gives me some more confirmation on it. I think he is a little bit even surprised that I can recall all this. I'm not sure whether he was his, his intention. Uh, he wanted to help me out. There is no doubt about it, but I didn't, I'm not sure whether it was his entirely his intention that I'm gonna go out there and just uh, do something like this. Cause this is like quite freaking amazing. Yeah, I don't know, 10,000, who knows how many people involved in it from all over the world here in Slovenia God knows how many people and that you would know for every person now that's already quite good you have to admit but my case is proven beyond any doubt as, as I stated uh, 
in respect to computers, uh, tablet and stuff like this. Game over. Uh, I'm gonna put some more stuff about computers, cars and stuff like this. But beyond any doubt, the case is proven just as I claimed on my new site also times the case was. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just state this to the end and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play you one more time entire audio a recording Why for those of you to... that have a doubts uh, this is original this is excerpt from original audio recording which is over 55 minutes long as I stated this was recorded on August the 20 2021 let's go to the end <laughs> He tells me where the wife is from, some kind of a city right there. I didn't even look into it in Slovakia. Uh, and I tell him, oh, I remember her. I remember her. And I say to him, is blue eyed and this and that. Uh, but exactly what she looks like. <laughs> that's exactly what I demonstrated to you that's exactly what she looks like without even a single mistake there's one thing I never made a mistake with uh, that's basically whenever it came to uh, cars uh, or ladies you know the stuff that was of my interest if something was of my interest um, the kind of projects that were my interest there's no like you couldn't it's like no way you possibly could fool me even drugged up uh, there are things you couldn't you could you could bet on it whatever you wanted uh, you, there's no way you possibly could fool me uh, and I'll tell him she's blue-eyed and this and that and he knows how much I remember her he gives me more yes okay so I have more than what one two three four housing project four five I give a description of the wife at least five credits you're gonna give me here for right so come on let's go with oh, this mafia. <laughs> ah, he knows he knows <laughs> we're both laughing I said it's a small world <laughs> Uh, that, that's when I bring the coffee down. Uh, I tell him that, that she has a blue eyes, he's laughing, he knows that I remember her very well. Here, I am going to play you. What I want to say is, I do want to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, to get another testimony, facts about my case, I am real. Mainstream media is not. Mainstream media is so fake. Uh, I watched some news today after I posted the news. I'm actually considering taking action against the mainstream media journalists because today I just saw Joe Biden happy laughing uh, next to his granddaughter she's gonna get married like this presented through the news site called Yahoo whose journalists all of them including the owners CEO everything everybody were involved in this case for more than 25 years now uh, since this thing all started so why are you doing this kind of stuff when I give the world the truth and you go on with it to cover with some smiling Joe pictures and stuff like this you, you, don't you know the stuff you do is criminal this is illegal the stuff I do is real this is a bad news for the world for democracy and you're making mockery of me, of my testimonies. So I am seriously considering actions that should take place against the journalists like this, against the mainstream media and against the journalists because they present like an alternate tool 
like an ultimate instrument to these global autocrats, liars, scammers, regardless whether those are presidents or elites and so on. In my case, guys, let me worry you a little bit. It is more than proven. Let's go. I am going to play you the whole thing again. And uh, again, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Here's the audio. Thank you. H Hello? Yeah. Uh, Kličem mi tukaj iz novega mesta e, yeah. in ves se kličem v vezi tega oglasa, ki imate na bolki, v vezi vašega računalnika. Aha. Pa me zanima, no, v bistvu me zanima ta računalnik, a kaj narobe z računalnikom, recimo, ne vem, kaj... Yeah. Ja, jaz vedem, vedem tale enega cene, jaz te 20 piše, zelo dobro ohranjen prenosnik, Elitebook G2 820 letnik 2016, uh, čist funkcionalni so, mislim, vse je tako, ko mora biti. Aha, ok, baterije deluje, vse deluje. Aha. Jo, če ga pa, spah, če ga pa, če ga pa, ka prijete kje v novem mestu delate, kje ta zga? Ja, ja, jaz delam v dvaj mestu in prejeti, da se zdaj vse problem. Aha, razumem. Pa da vas vprašam, kaj, za 100 evrov bi šlo? Dajte mi saj 110 evrov. 110? No, ok, ajde, če ga pripelete, pa če vse deluje tako, ko mora delovat, pa se dejmo za 110 zmenit, ajde. Pa ni treba, mislim, zaradi mene, tako, ko greste čez, ne, če bo se še... Ne, ne, gre ti prede, tako da mi to daj problem. Bova še, bova še potem popitati, bova še potem popitati, bova, ne vem, zdaj doma ali... Ja, zdaj sem še doma, ja, tako, ja, da bova, da se bova koordinirala, ne. Kaj jaz sem nekrat popolnil, ne. Aha. Ja, ne, dejte, no. Ne dajte lepo prosim, jaz ga vzajmem, no? Ja, v redu, v redu. Ok. Dobro. Še ena stvar bi se vprašal, pa tu je, da vidim tole, ja, no, ok, tu je Windows, tudi, da, da, da. Ja, ne, dajte lepo prosim, no? Ajde, z mene ne upali. Ok, dobro, hvala lepo vam, do svidenja.
Jā, jā, jā. Es ir tīsi Černomā, nedēļ. Tīsi Černomā, tīsi Černomā, tā jā, patrūdēns, tas ir. Jā, jā. Tas ir osim sienas. Tas ir osim sienas. Aha, aha. Slava Jona! 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 Sl